Hello everyone. Today I'll be going in-depth into one of the most intriguing stories from this past MLB season. One that not many people have heard. This is a story about a 14th round draft pick, a 28-year-old rookie who would lead his team in home runs, and a player whose last name carries a legacy throughout baseball. His name is Mike Yastrzemski. Michael Andrew Yastrzemski has been defined by one thing his entire life, his last name. Mike is the grandson of Red Sox legend and Hall of Famer Carl Yastrzemski. The name is so iconic, and the nickname is known throughout baseball, Yaz. That legacy also carries a burden. Everywhere he went, people focused on the last name, not his own talent, and Mike had talent. Seen as a top-round draft pick out of high school, the young Yastrzemski made it known to teams he planned to honor his commitment to Vanderbilt and went undrafted until the 36th round, when the Red Sox, the very team his grandfather played on for over 20 years, selected him. It was only an honorary selection, and Mike went on to play at Vanderbilt. After four years at Vandy, Mike was selected in the 14th round by the Baltimore Orioles. After five fairly productive seasons in the minor leagues, Yastrzemski was 28, and Baltimore still refused to give him a chance in the big leagues. He had done everything right, toiled in the minors for years, but the Orioles didn't give him a shot. It looked like Yastrzemski would never make it to the league his grandfather had played in for decades. Then, new San Francisco Giants general manager Farhan Zaidi took a flyer on Yastrzemski and traded minor league pitcher Tyler Erb for him. Mike played for the Giants AAA affiliate for 40 games, hitting exceptionally with 12 home runs, a 1,090 OPS, and a 154 WRC+. WRC Plus is a statistic that adjusts for park factors and sets the league average to 100. Every point, up or down, is 1% above or below league average. The Giants called up Yastrzemski on May 25th, and on May 31st, he hit his first career home run against the team that had given up on him, the Baltimore Orioles. A case of good old-fashioned revenge. But all was not roses for the rookie. He struggled throughout June, posting a 697 OPS and a measly 82 WRC+, and was almost sent down in July. Yastrzemski had used his one opportunity and was failing. All those years grinding, trying to make it to the majors, and he was failing. That could have been it. Mike relegated to a fun fact and forgotten about in baseball history. But Farhan decided to give him one last chance, and Yastrzemski proved it was the right decision, propelling the Giants to a 19 and 6 July, while hitting to the tune of a 926 OPS and a 135 WRC+. August was Yastrzemski's best month. He again posted a 926 OPS, and this time a 136 WRC+. More impressively, he hit nine home runs, including this 472-foot bomb on August 3rd. The highlight of his season happened on September 17th, when Yastrzemski homered at Fenway Park, where his grandfather had hit 237 home runs. While trotting the bases, Mike could take it in for a few seconds. He had finally made it. In the crowd, his family cheered, and old Carl watched on proudly. So the 14th round draft pick, the 28-year-old rookie, who couldn't get a chance to play on the worst team in the league, would end up hitting 21 home runs for the Giants, leading the team. In over 400 plate appearances, Yastrzemski posted a 121 WRC+, or 21% above league average. He was also the most valuable hitter on the Giants, worth 2.2 wins, according to Fangraphs. Most importantly to me, he made a bad Giants team fun to watch. Mike Yastrzemski is a perfect example of a player who just needed an opportunity to showcase his talent. Even with his famous last name, he was doubted everywhere he went. This past year, Yastrzemski put his own name on the map. I'm excited to see what he does this next season, and I hope he continues to prove everyone wrong. 3-1, Yastrzemski hits a high drive center field. Jackie Bradley going back, looking up, it's gone! And you can only imagine what's going through the head of Mike Yastrzemski. And his whole family, he has homered at Fenway Park.